Hey there. My name is Joe Reed. I'm the owner and founder of trainoutofpain.com. I am a health coach and a strength coach, aka a personal trainer who only specializes in helping people with fibromyalgia. Um, I've had fibromyalgia for a little over eight years. Um, it was not diagnosed first as fibromyalgia, I was first diagnosed as having myofascial pain syndrome and neuropathy. And the neuropathy always made me scratch my head because I have had four nerve conduction tests and they were all normal. So, um, you know, over the years I've seen over 30 physicians, most of them specialists. I have seen two acupuncturists, two chiropractors, and went to a holistic practitioner as well. Spent thousands of dollars and never felt better. Um, just kept getting worse and worse. You know, no doctors gave me the blueprint, no doctors gave me a magic pill, nor did they give me any idea of how I could overcome and get better. So I had to kind of do some research myself. And over the years, I have studied all the things that your doctors haven't. So what I have discovered over the years is the things that have helped me to beat fibromyalgia. And when I say beat it, I really mean it because uh, last year, 2018, I had four very small flare-ups. The pain was very manageable and the fatigue wasn't too bad. So far, um, I'm at about the end of March of 2019. I have yet to have a single flare up this year. But you know, my story was um, pretty terrible and you'll probably relate to some of this stuff. So with all the physicians that I've seen, um, nobody really said, hey Joe, this is what we want you to do, this is how you're gonna get better. Um, what I used was um, some mental tools. I went through a pain management a course that gave me some great tools to allow me to think about my pain in a different way. When it was before, it was, God, why me? Here we go again. How long am I going to be in bed this time? After I had those mental tools, I reacted a little differently and it started to make me feel better. Um, then I started to move more. Um, I, first time I exercised in a few years, I walked a half a mile. And if I had to walk another 10 steps, I would have had to crawl. Um, I lost my ability to walk a few years ago. I had to apply and was granted a handicap platform. Um, while I was still working at my previous job where I was a warehouse supervisor for a school district, I lost all of my abilities to do my job. Um, I lost all of my grip strength to the point that I have screamed three times from lifting up a sheet of paper. I lost all of my hip strength and have fallen five times over the past few years. Um, the last time I have fallen was a little over three and a half years ago, and that, that was a turning point for me. I said, I'm never going to fall again, and that's what really sent me down this path of discovery about my health and about my body and about moving, and it's really the, uh, the, the thing that changed my life. Uh, my wife, who is disabled, was the one who was picking me up off the floor because I physically could not pick myself up off the floor, and it was one of the very worst feelings I've ever had. Um, when my wife and I moved in together about four years ago, I had to move both of our places. We had a few people help us, but um, it was you know, an eight hour, nine hour day of moving. And I spent the next four days in bed. And when I finally got out of bed so we could go to Target, I had to use one of their electric wheelchairs for the first time. So while, you know, while I was working, my weekends were spent in a wheelchair, they were spent in bed. Um, it was really tough to work a physical job. And in May of 2015, I had to retire due to disability. Um, you know, after I retired, I stayed in bed for the next nine months. I felt sorry for myself. I didn't do anything and it only made me worse, made me severely depressed, gave me a ton of anxiety. And um, my wife said, you know, let's get out and let's go on a trip. Went up and saw my friend. It was about 12 hours away. And while we were driving, did a lot of thinking. And I thought to myself that, I'm not gonna live this way anymore. And when we got back that next day was when I walked that half mile. My pain started, which was in the back of my left arm. It went throughout my entire body. And it got so bad that a feather touch would make me scream. The fatigue was overwhelming. Um, I got to the point that I really couldn't use my hands. I was dropping glasses of water all the time. I was not able to cut up my meals. Um, I remember very well in December 2015 at my family's Christmas party, my wife was cutting up my meals and twisting off my water bottles and my sister on looked over and said, is that real? And I said, yeah, it's very real. Why would I ever have somebody do that for me? You know, it's not like she was just catering to me. I just couldn't physically do it. So fast forward a couple of years and um, I found that movement is something that really helped me feel better. And it wasn't just like, hey, we're going to go out and we're going to squat and we're going to bench press. It's not about exercise it's about movement i found that it helped me and i started posting some videos online and i found that i was starting to inspire some people that have 
fibromyalgia like I do or some other chronic illnesses. And that really motivated me to learn as much as I can about fibromyalgia and autoimmunity and pain conditions so that I can help people like you. Um, I realize that you've probably been to a ton of doctors who haven't given you any answers. You might have received a couple of medications that probably didn't help. Um, you might be on some opiates right now to try to alleviate your pain. But let me tell you, um, none of that stuff worked for me. So I want you to know that you're not alone and you're not your diagnosis. That is something that um, I really want to emphasize because when I found out that I was diagnosed with fibromyalgia, I said, finally, I have a diagnosis, something I can really hold tight onto, something that's becoming my identity. When I talk to people, I'm Joe, I have fibromyalgia. And that's not the way to live. That's a great way to make yourself worse. It's not gonna take some you know, crazy trek around the world. It's not gonna take a magic pill. It's gonna take some effort on your part, but I promise you, you can get better. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. You can contact me via email at joe at trainoutofpain.com. You can also use the contact button. I want to thank you for watching this video and I hope to talk to you soon.